In the tranquil town of St. Augustine, Florida, a chilling legend reverberates through the ancient cobblestone streets. This town, proudly holding the title of the oldest in the U.S., conceals a dark tale that sends icy shivers down the spine. A tale woven around the enigmatic figure of Judge John Stickney, a man known for his stern demeanor and undying commitment to justice. His story takes a sinister turn after his death when his body was exhumed and moved. This act, considered sacrilegious by some, ignited a series of unexplainable occurrences within the hallowed grounds of the Huguenot Cemetery. Suddenly, visitors began to report an eerie presence that was almost palpable. They spoke of an ethereal figure, a phantom that floated amongst the gravestones, forever shackled to the mortal realm. They became louder, and the legend of Judge Stickney grew, his ghost seemingly refusing to rest in peace. Sightings of a spectral figure, a solitary figure that bore a striking resemblance to the late judge, reported with increasing frequency. Some even claimed to hear the phantom's voice, a haunting echo that whispered sentences from old court cases into the wind. This chilling spirit, the ghost of Judge Stickney, is just the first of many spectral residents we'll meet on this spine-tingling journey through America's most haunted towns. Venturing north to the eerie battlefields of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, the chilling presence of fallen soldiers still lingers. This historic town bore witness to one of the deadliest battles of the Civil War, a three-day grueling conflict that extinguished the lives of thousands. The chilling echoes of those brutal days seem to persist, especially in the popular haunted spots scattered across the town. A notable spot is Devil's Den, a rugged hill that played a crucial role during the deadly standoff. It's not just a rocky hill, it's a site steeped in the haunting memories of war. Visitors have reported seeing apparitions of Confederate soldiers, their ghostly forms materializing at twilight. Some even claim to have heard the faint sound of drum beats, chilling cries, and gunfire echoing from the past. Then there's the Gettysburg Hotel, a grand old edifice that's been standing tall since before the war. It's not just the age of the building that makes it a site of interest. It's the countless tales of spectral encounters. Frequently report eerie sightings and inexplicable occurrences, the most common of which involves the ghost of a woman in period dress. She is often spotted dancing alone in the grand ballroom, her apparition shimmering in the candlelight. Some guests have even reported hearing the faint strains of music from a bygone era wafting through the hotel in the dead of night. The ghosts of Gettysburg particularly those Devil's Den and the Gettysburg Hotel, serve as chilling reminders of our nation's gruesome history, keeping the past alive in a most eerie way. We venture next to Salem, Massachusetts, the infamous site of the 1692 witch trials. This city, steeped in history, is deeply rooted in a dark legacy of witchcraft and superstition. Salem's history is not one that is lightly forgotten. Rather, it is one that is intrinsically interwoven with the essence of witchcraft and fear. The trials of Salem, born from fear and led to the execution of 20 innocent people, their names forever engraved in the city's memory. Let's delve deeper into this dark legacy. The town was a hotbed of suspicion and paranoia during the 17th century. Tales of bewitching black magic and demonic packs circulated through the town's narrow lanes, tinging every conversation with an undercurrent of dread. A simple accusation could lead to a full-blown trial, and the word witch held a chilling power. It wasn't just witchcraft that was feared, but superstitions of all kinds gripped the people of Salem, shaping their lives and decisions. The city's haunting past is still palpable in Salem's most eerie locations. The witch house, the only building in Salem with direct ties to the trials, stands as a chilling reminder of the city's grim past a monument to its history of witch hunting and superstition. The Salem Witch Trials Memorial, with its 20 stone benches each bearing the name of an executed individual, serves as a solemn tribute to the victims of the witch hunt. In Salem, the echoes of a witch hunting past still make their presence known, resonating through the city's cobblestone streets and ancient buildings. Here, history is not a mere tale of the past, but a ghostly presence, forever part of the city's heartbeat. The city's dark legacy of witchcraft and superstition is a chilling reminder of the damage fear and misunderstanding can wreak, a lesson that resonates just as powerfully today. Venturing southward, we reach the alluring Savannah, Georgia, a city founded on its deceased. This city, deeply imbued with southern magnificence and rich history, is also blanketed in an ethereal enigma. 
It is a place where the past's reverberations echo still, where every piece of cobblestone and every corner narrates a story of those who have passed. Savannah's history is not merely unique, it is interwoven with the supernatural. This city is constructed in the truest sense, on its dead. Beneath the time-worn squares and thriving parks exist subterranean passages, once utilized as grounds. These tunnels serve as a chilling testament to mortality, cloaked the splendor of life. Savannah's connection to the supernatural is embodied in places like the Bonaventure Cemetery, a location of unnerving beauty, where Spanish moss drapes like spectral veils and age-old gravestones cradle the secrets of those who lay beneath. Some claim, deep into the witching hours, the whispers of the disregarded can be heard, carried by the nocturnal breeze. Another haunting landmark is the Mercer Williams House, a majestic structure with a shadowy history. Known for a notorious murder, it is believed to be by unsettled spirits. Visitors frequently recount uncanny happenings, unaccountable sounds, and an uneasy sense of being observed. Such stories are just a glimpse of the ghostly residents of Savannah. It's a city where the past never truly departs, and the forgotten are not entirely lost. In Savannah, the barrier between the living and the deceased is scarcely perceptible. Our journey concludes in the vibrant city of New Orleans, Louisiana, a place that sings and sways to the rhythm of jazz. This city, a melting pot of diverse cultures, carries a haunting charm that's uniquely its own. The French, Spanish, African and Native American influences merge together to form a rich tapestry of traditions. Among these traditions, the most intriguing is, without a doubt, the practice of voodoo, which is deeply rooted in the city's history. Voodoo, a spiritualistic religion brought to New Orleans by the African slaves, is an essential part of the city's cultural fabric. It is a fascinating blend of Catholicism and African religions, incorporating elements like spirit possession and ancestral worship. The city's voodoo practices extend beyond mere rituals and involve the creation of voodoo dolls Gris Gris bags for protection and the practice of spiritual medicine. These practices, while misunderstood by many, are a testament to the city's diverse cultural history. New Orleans voodoo law is intricately interwoven with its history, leaving an indelible mark and making the city a hotbed for supernatural encounters. Countless stories of ghostly appearances, eerie sounds and unexplained phenomena circulate among the locals and travelers alike. These tales are not just confined to the dark corners of the city but are a part of its very fabric. In the heart of the French Quarter, the infamous La Lori Mansion stands as a chilling testament to New Orleans' haunted past. Madame La Lori, a high society Creole socialite, was known for gruesome experiments on her slaves. Over the years, tales of her cruelty have transformed into eerie ghost stories. The chilling screams, the mysterious shadows and the ominous feeling that you're being watched make this mansion a must-visit for thrill-seekers. Then there's the St. Louis Cemetery No. 1, the city's oldest and most famous resting place. This labyrinthine graveyard is reputed to be the dwelling place of hundreds of spirits, including the renowned voodoo queen, Marie Laveau. Visitors recount spine-chilling encounters with her apparition, adorned in her iconic turban, performing voodoo rituals amidst the tombstones. In New Orleans, the spirits aren't just stories, they're a living part of the city's everyday life. From the hallowed grounds of St. Augustine, the oldest city in the US, to the rhythm-filled, jazz-saturated lanes of New Orleans, our exploration of America's haunted towns has been nothing short of awe-inspiring. We've navigated the spectral landscapes of various iconic locations. There's Gettysburg, a place deeply marred by the ravages of the Civil War. Its ghostly residents stark reminder of a turbulent time across the nation. Then we have Salem, an eerie testament to the consequences of mass hysteria and fear where the spirits of the wrongly accused witches continue to linger. Savannah, with its grand old mansions and moss-draped trees, whispers stories of the old world southern charm and the spectral inhabitants who continue to walk its quaint cobblestone streets. And New Orleans, the city of jazz and celebration, where the spectral residents add a layer of mystery and intrigue to its vibrant culture, intertwining ghostly tales with the intoxicating rhythm of music and life town is steeped not only in history but also in tales of the supernatural. 
their significance only deepened by the spectral residents who refused to leave, each one a spectral thread woven into the rich tapestry of America's soul. Next time you find yourself wandering the streets of one of these towns, remember, you may not be as alone as you think. You're walking amongst living history and its ghostly inhabitants, an exciting and chilling blend of the past and the present.